How's it going, everyone? So, a lot of bugs and insects and grubs and other critters, they like to call your garden their home. Um, but there is a lot of bad bugs and then there's a lot of good ones. So, I'm going to be talking about some of the beneficial um, bugs and critters that you might find in your garden. So the first one is ladybugs, or ladybirds, however you want to call it. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about really two ladybugs. There is a bad one, and there's lots of different varieties of good ones, but I'm just going to be talking about two that I've seen. Um, and that is, first one being the common, um, just black and uh, red ladybug. So these are really, really good. They are very predatorial. Um, so they eat sort of things like uh, aphids, um, mealybug, scale, all those sort of things, and other sort of smaller insects and eggs and stuff. Um, they eat all of those sort of throughout their whole life, but specifically in their larvae. Um, so when they're just real little sort of white wiggly worm thing, they really just um, chuff through those aphids and stuff. Um, a single ladybug can actually eat uh, about 5,000 aphids in a single lifetime. Um, so as you can see, they're absolute machines, and they do really, really well at... Um, specifically aphid control so they're really really good to have in your garden the second uh, ladybug that I want to talk about is the black and yellow one and this is actually a fungus eating one I found one of these in um, my garden on a bean leaf um, and they look quite cool but um, yeah it was nice to hear that they actually eat fungus um, so just like sort of powdery mildew uh, very very good at eating that. Um, there is just one sort of caution that I'm that I'm thinking with that is because they've been walking and eating fungus, they might also cause it to spread, um, especially if they then walk or fly onto plants that are really susceptible to fungus diseases. So that is a bit of a caution, but I mean they are beneficial. They are really really good to have in your garden. Okay, so another beneficial insect is bees, like obviously they were going to be here. Um, they are probably the most popular, most well known um, because they do so so much work um, in our world. Uh, they pollinate all of our flowers from our fruits, fruits and vegetables, help set seed, everything. They actually, I think it's about 80 to 90 percent of pollination are all from bees. So they do heaps and heaps of work. Um, they're obviously, yeah, the most popular and they do give us honey as well. Um, so they are just absolute machines, flying around just from flower to flower, um, doing their work, helping to pollinate all of our food um, so we can enjoy. And also they do help to, um, if you have a lot of bees around, they do also help to increase your produce because you get that extra pollination. So they're really, really good to have. So the next beneficial insect that you'd want in your garden are lace wings. Um, they are quite easy to identify. They're quite in a um, sort of petite, uh, sort of fragile looking um, insect, but um, they are absolutely incredible. Um, the eggs are also very, very um, sort of specific. Like you, you definitely be able to tell um, if you have them when you see the eggs. Um, so, like I said, they're absolutely machines. They really aren't fussy at all. They go, go through everything: aphids, uh, spider mite, mealybug, various scales, and other sort of. Um, insects and small insects and grubs and stuff that you'll find um, that are harming your plants, they'll absolutely munch through those. Um, so that, they are really, really good. Um, when it comes to say like things like aphids, oh, that's a bit bright. When it comes to things like aphids, they are actually really, really good. There we go. They are really, really good at controlling aphids. Say they can go through about 60 um, per hour. So they are very, very effective when it comes to real soft body bugs like aphids. So praying mantises are another very incredibly um, beneficial insect in your garden. Um, they are probably my favourite um, insect of the bug world um, and they are absolute machines. Again, they are not picky at all, they really just eat anything that moves. Um, so they are really, really good at, say when they are younger, really, really good at say controlling like mosquitoes, um, small flies, other little bugs, beetles and grubs. Um, and then when they get sort of bigger, um, they are really, really good at um, handling sort of large flies, grasshoppers, locusts, things like that, um, and larger beetles as well. Um, so they are very predatory, and they are they use sort of like camouflage and just they stay really, really still. Then when their prey comes near, they just use those front legs to really just grab them. Um, so they're they're awesome. Another reason why they're one of my favorite is that they. Um, 
are actually the only insect that can see in. There we go. They are the only insect that can see in 3D. So that that's pretty cool, and also they're really identifiable as well. Um, they got a large sort of uh, abdominum, um, and then they also have the triangle head as well. Um, so I've seen them in different colors, green, brown uh, being sort of the major ones, but I think you can get them sort of in different colors bearing off of those as well. Um, so they are a very, very good insect for your garden. I think I might just hold my hand shading the camera because the weather's a bit funny. It's quite sunny one minute and then cloudy the next moment, so it's sort of mucking up the focus. Um, okay, so next one is actually wasps, and these are a bit controversy. They are actually good, but I mean, I'm a bit torn because I've had some bad experiences, really bad experiences with wasps in the past. Like one time I got stung by a wasp three times from a single wasp. Another time I stepped on a European wasp and that did not tickle. Um, and so they are really, really good though. Like, especially when it comes to say like things like caterpillars and other sort of larger soft body um, grubs that actually lay their eggs inside the caterpillar um, lay the eggs, the eggs hatch into the larvae and the larvae just clean them up. Um, so they are really, really good for things like that. But again, like uh, with wasps and bees as well, they can sting you though. So just make sure you're respectful around them, don't harass them, and they won't bite, uh, sorry, sting you. So, you know, yeah, they are really, really good to have. You just got to be careful around them. Now, some critters that are really, really good um, for your garden are lizards being one of them. Um, especially here in Australia, um, every single house I've lived in, we've always had multiple lizards living there. Um, so, especially the blue tongues and little skinks, they are really, really good. Um, you also find right now in this garden, we've got a blue tongue and also a stumpy tail lizard, uh, which we've named Russell. But they are really, really good for controlling snails, um, slugs, um, beetles, uh, things like that. Um, and they'll really just come along, just eat whatever they can and move on. And they are really, really good pest control, um, especially because things like snails and slugs, you find them everywhere. Um, and so if you have a lizard, it's, it's really good um, just to ha have them in the garden because they provide a lot of uh, pest control for you. And the last sort of critter um, that's on my list is frogs. So they are really, really good. We've had a lot of frogs around lately. Um, don't exactly know why, maybe because we've had a sort of good rain. Um, but they have been everywhere and they are really, really good for controlling sort of smaller sort of, um, small sort of insects. Well, we've got smaller frogs around, but um, they go through flies, mosquitoes, little um, bugs, uh, sort of like slaters, or some people I think call them roly polies. Um, and then other little beetles and sort of grubs and stuff around. Um, so they do an amazing job. Um, and, you know, you can get them quite big or quite small, whatever, but they all do one job, and that is really, really good um, at pest control. So they're awesome to have in your garden. Um, and not only that, but, I mean, I love what, I love it when the frogs sing. Um, so that, that's really cool as well. But no, they are really, really good um, sort of little critters to have in your garden. Um, and they do an amazing job with um, your pests. So that's about it guys. I know that there are a lot more beneficial insects and critters out there. Um, I've only just listed the seven or so. Um, the ones that I find are really popular in my garden and just in my experience. Um, so again, I know there's heaps more out there. I've just listed those and they're quite popular as well. And I'm sure that a lot of you will find them in your own gardens as well. Um, so there's also other ways sort of to attract beneficial insects, say just like planting certain um, flowering plants or other vegetables that flower attract them and also providing sort of little homes for things like bees, um, frogs, lizards and other things like that. So maybe in the future I think I'll sort of make a video on how to attract beneficial insects and other critters around your garden um, because I mean it's always great to have more um, and also I'd like more in my garden as well. So. That, that's probably uh, something I'll do in the future, so look out for that. Um, but otherwise, I think that's just about it. Um, if you like that video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions for me, pop them in the comments box below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click the little my little face that's popping up around somewhere. 
and um, that way you just get notified for whenever a new video is up and you can come along and check out what I've got going in my garden or wherever I am. So hope you guys like that and I'll catch you next time.